Hello and welcome, you join me, ADG, and here we are for a slightly different race video from last night's racing. So, just to explain, GT Jelly B, owner of Wide Open Throttle Racing, basically put a, a Facebook post up yesterday asking if anyone was interested in racing in the Group 2 cars around Spa and Fuji for a couple of races on Friday night. And um, yeah, the response was surprising. Loads of people put the name down and they felt sorry for a few people because they actually missed out. Um, there was more people wanted to race than uh, the spots are available. So we can only fit 16 people in these lobbies, so unfortunately, like I say, some people did miss out, but uh, we've got a good bunch of racers to go through, which I'll quickly make my way through now. So, we're at spa Frank champ for a 25-minute race this time round. We had a 15-minute qualifying session, which determines the positions that we're about to go through, which, uh, which is going to um, be the start of the race. So... Have I said everything? I think I've said everything. VQS Dawson, one of the fastest drivers in the MRC at the moment, <clears throat> until next season, until we all beat him, um, is in first position. GT Deli B is in second, so really good qualifying from these guys at the front. Chris 74 Mac is in third. Mad Brush Racing is in fourth. Surfer EV is in fifth. ADG123 The Legend in sixth. <laughs> AD, uh, Ice Chand in seventh. And they'll give myself two positions then. Ice Chand is in seventh. Street Boy is in eighth. Robber's Hood takes up ninth. TC Idol is in tenth. We've got JRC87 in eleventh. Mighty Ginge is in twelfth. Angus McCurt up in thirteenth. Grim99 in fourteenth. MRC Shewer, and if you're not familiar with this guy, he is the guy that does all the organisation for the MRC and puts together the GTTCC. So, big shout out to Dennis Shewer for doing all that. Full credit to him, and because I don't have this opportunity very often, thank you very much, Dennis. So, uh, and then we've got back of the grid, 16th mla 75 so without much further ado we'll jump towards the front of the grid again we're back on board with dawson and we'll hit start uh, looking for the lights the reds rise and we're away so mad brush racing from the second row just launches it absolutely launches it off the start and manages to get side by side with dawson in c1 dawson keeping the inside the mad brush Mad Brush Racing going a little bit wide through the exit. Ice Chand up in second now. Chris 74 Mac in third. So GT Deli B losing out a little bit on the start there. Dropped from second into sixth as he uh, struggles to get away off the grid. Everyone coming through uh, Rouge and Radion for the first time. Looks like it's all nice and neat so far. No one looks too bunched up. JRC looking for the inside line. Not quite getting the move done on Robus, but uh, Robus has a little moment mid corner and JRC manages to get through because of that. The Robus down a position there, Mad Brush racing with a great start, but halfway around lap one finds himself in the gravel. Unfortunate there for Mad Brush. He was up into second straight away, but now he's got a lot of work to do to try and fight his way back through the field. And just skip through and keep an eye on everyone for this first lap, see what happens. I haven't watched this back, so I do apologise if I missed some of the action that you had. I can't catch everything. Even if I was good at doing it, I wouldn't be able to catch everything, but I'm not very good at doing all this, so uh, it makes it even harder still. Shui already up two places, up into 13th, so good work from Shui on the start. Mad brush racing, the big loser through, uh, through lap one there, dropping right down. So back towards the front, we've got Aishand getting chased incredibly close from uh, GT Deli B behind, and then you've got me behind GT Deli B. Deli really putting the pressure on. Looking for the inside into the last chicane. Heavy braking zone, tight chicane is this one. Bit of a clumsy chicane in my opinion. Really easy to have a, a little moment through, even though you're going about 20 miles an hour. So GT Deli B getting the job done and up into four gets past Ice Chand through the last chicane there. But the slipstream down this straight through Eruge and Radion is crucial. 
and if you can stick with the guy in front you've uh, you've easily got chance of having a chance of getting past again so GT Delaby and Ice Chan nearly side by side into the bottom of the rouge exciting stuff but Ice Chan backing out thinking better of it as GT Delaby just pushes on hope it's a fourth we've got me side by side with Ice Chan now looking for an overtake I'm round the outside but just about managed to outbreak Ice Chan go a little bit deep pull it back Ice Chan does a moment on the exit and uh, just lets me go through up into fifth Ice Chan with that little bit of a kick of overseer there dropped him down a few positions just because the race is so close at this point JRC giving me some grief right on my bumper Robert Hood going well in seventh Ice Chan, few unfortunate little incidents so far, dropping him down into 8th. Street Boy right on the back of his uh, bumper in ninth, And they've got Mighty Ginger a little bit further back with Dennis right behind him. Dennis having a really good start. We're only on lap 2. Dennis started in 15th and he's already up 4 places into 11th. So good stuff from Dennis. Grim 99 doing a good job as well. He started right at the back. He's made a, a few positions up. So everyone going quite well. We'll jump towards the front. See how Dawson's doing. He's already pulled a nice gap away from Chris 74. Mack in seventh position, uh, second position. For a look back uh, from Dawson. As he comes through the last chicane. He's got a really healthy gap over Chris behind. So we've only been going two laps. Uh, Chris trying his best to keep up, he's doing a good job himself is Chris, he's got a big gap to uh, the guy in third, GT Deli B. GT Deli B and myself now quite close together. Deli B is sponsored by Karcher, he absolutely loves his jet washing does Deli, uh, Deli B. Don't ever mention water PSI values to Delhi B will never let you go. So I've got me trying to make the move on Delhi whilst Jay Assey all watches it all happen in front of him and looks for some kind of chance himself. Unfortunately no space for him that time round. But I make the move on Delhi and uh, just about get past. Skip back, see what else is going on. Surfer EV having a good race so far. Doing a good job of sticking with Street Boy. Street Boy is no slouch. Street Boy nearly won the first uh, championship from Wide Open Throttle, the Group 3 championship that we all raced in. He had a really, really good season and uh, ended up losing out in the last round to GT Deli B. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, Street Boy didn't win that time round, but uh, he put a really good championship together. What was that? Ice Chan having a big moment. Ice Chan just catching the curb, having a big spin, and goes off onto the grass. Well, finds himself dropping right back down as he gets going again. He's now in 15. Unfortunate for him. Mad Brush racing, having a comeback race as well after an incident on lap one. So a couple of people dropping back with a few issues here and there. But uh, the race is not over yet, just over six minutes in now and like I said this is a 25 minute race so there's still 20 minutes to go to try and get yourself back into the race if you, uh, if you felt like you've fallen too far back at the beginning. Well let's see what else is going on, Shua now up into 10th, so Shua 69 with a great start to this race so far, just keeps picking up those positions. In 10th now, looking to catch Mighty Ginger in front to make it 9th. Robert's the hood struggling a little bit to stick with uh, Surfer EV in front, but uh, He'll do his best to try and catch him up through the next couple of laps. We've got Surfer EV and Street Boy quite close together though in front for 6th and 7th. And then just in front of those guys we've still got JRC following 
GT Deli B and myself in a free car train. GT Deli really applying the pressure to the back of me, looking for an overtake now. Looking back from Deli, who just gets it done on the brakes. Nicely done there from Deli. Back up into third. Oh, it goes a little bit wide though, just goes a little bit wide on the curb, sucks him into the gravel. So unfortunately there for GT Deli B, he just has a moment on his own and drops down into eighth in the end. Robbers the hood and Surfer EV just managing to make the opportunity work there from Deli's mistake and get themselves through. Robbie getting past Surfer EV at the same time as well, so good move there from Robbie. Makes two positions out of one. So Robbie's starting to make the moves in this race now, up into sixth. Struggling with the rear end through that tight chicane though. Now GT Deliby has dropped out of this fight. I've now got third and I've just got the chance to try and catch up with uh, Chris in front as best I can. Although there's a big gap to close down at this point. And uh, no doubt I'll take JRC with me as he's got my slipstream. So we're on the mic at this point. I asked him, is he, is he coming, is he coming? I wanted to know whether I needed to defend or not. I was literally trying to uh, keep as much time coming in. What's the best way to say? I've started saying that wrong. I was literally trying to gain as much time on Chris ahead as possible because I knew that I had a possibility of catching him up if I just kept it neat and tidy and put some really good laps together consistently. So uh, that's what I was trying to do at this point. So I was reluctant to uh, defend to JRC even if he was really close to me. They so were literally looking for those quick lap times to try and chase Chris in second. God, that felt really hard to say for some reason. So Dawson's still in the lead of this one, Chris in second, and me in third at the moment. We'll go through the full order actually, JRC is in fourth, we've got Street Boy in fifth. Good race from Street Boy, he didn't have the best start and found himself towards the back of the start, but he's made his way up. I've missed his overtakes, but he's obviously made quite a few of them to get himself up into sixth, fifth even. Robert Surge, we saw an overtake from him not so long ago, up in sixth now. GT Deli B right on Robertson's tail, we'll keep an eye on this for the next corner or two. GT Deli B putting some pressure on, oh, forces his way to the inside. Robbers not wanting to let it go, but uh, he left too much room and GT Deli B had a chance to just stick his bonnet up there. And there we go, he gets it done through the last chicane in the end. With a good overtake, Robbers actually drops off quite a long way back from him there as well, so a bit of oversteer out the last corner, I'm guessing, for Robbers. Uh, GT Deli B able to concentrate on just trying to catch back up now after that mistake a lap or two ago. Mighty Ginge going well in eighth. TC Idol just coming down the main straight now through La Source Hairpin. Up a rouge. Nice and steady, nice and clean. Mad Brush Racing wanting to make his way back into this race. Is in the slipstream of TC Idol in front. Let's see if he can get the overtake done by the end of the straight. Looks like he's a little bit too far back to me. Yep, yeah, he's not going to force the issue this time round. So good stuff in this race. And as you might have noticed, not many incidents. A few little mistakes here and there creeping in, but nothing major couple of uh, people losing out because of their own mistakes rather than contact is basically what I'm trying to say. So good clean racing we've seen so far. Ice Chand in 12th, Surfer EV in 13th, Grim in 14th and sure, I'm not sure, uh, excuse the pun, exactly what has happened to, uh, to Dennis Shure in 15th but he's dropped down from the dizzy heights of 10th that he was in at one point earlier in the race. So a bit unfortunate for Dennis, but still enjoying his time racing with those guys, I'm sure. MLA 75 in 16th. 
yet to make a position up in this race, but still sticking with it and having fun, which is good to see. So we've got BQS Dawson, just reminding ourselves of the leader. Looking back again to the gap behind to Chris, he's nowhere to be seen, so Dawson very comfortable at this point in the race with his first position. Chris is also very comfortable at this point in second. But little does he know, I am trying my hardest behind him to uh, close in that gap. Which was really quite tricky as well, I was pushing and pushing, but I couldn't make up much time on Chris. We've got Street Boy and JRC, so Street Boy is up into fourth now, got past JRC. I've missed that one, but uh, JRC is looking feisty to try and get it back. Breaking heavily into the tight chicane at the end of the long straight. I don't know any of the corner names, apart from uh, Rouge and Radion. The street boy doing a good job of getting a little gap over JRC there, compared to what they were a couple of corners ago. And street boy making moves in this race now. And he'll be looking to chase down me in third position now. See what else is going on. We've got Robos leading away from ninth position TC Idol. Speaking for myself personally, because obviously I can't speak for everyone involved in the racing, but uh, I don't drive the group too much and I really enjoyed it last night. So it's something we should maybe look at as a group to uh, set up a, a, a proper league and um, and do it on a weekly basis maybe. Because, uh, like I say, I can only speak for myself, but I really enjoyed last night and uh, I got the impression that most people did. So it'd be good if we, uh, if we managed to put a bit of a league together. I'm sure it'll be a popular one. So the actions died off a little bit. The gaps are staying pretty similar between everyone at this point. Jump back up towards the top, see what else is going on. Don't really like watching me own racing that much because there's 15 other people on track, so why should that? But uh, give myself a little coverage from time to time. At this point, I was aware that Street Boy was catching me in fourth position, but uh, that wasn't a concern, as I could see that I was getting slightly closer to Chris in front. So uh, that was my main aim in this one, try and get that second position. So GT Deli B has now got past JRC. JRC seems to be having a bit of a, a troublesome couple of laps, really. He, uh, he had a really good start to this race. Had a really good opening section and then uh, it seems to have dropped a couple of positions in the last two or three laps to uh, Street Boy and GT Deli B, so I'm not, few, I'm not sure if it's a, a few little mistakes creeping in there for JRC, but uh, it seems to be going backwards all of a sudden. But he's still in a very reasonable position of sixth at the moment, so uh, nothing that he can't be proud of. Robus has now got TC Idol all over the back of him, giving him some grief. Robus, one of the most accomplished drivers in the MRC, believe it or not, because uh, he's won so many leagues, so he's worked his way up from League 6, I think he first entered in when he first joined the GTTCC, and uh, he's basically won four leagues along the way in his time in the MRC GTC CC so uh, he's done really well as Robert and uh, technically he's probably one of the most accomplished on the MRC grid he'll hate me for saying all that but uh, there you go it's not like I'm slagging you off Robert I'm giving you some credit at least 
But yeah, he's, he's had some really, really good championships in the MRC and uh, even if he doesn't win the races, always seems to get those good results that seem to keep him at the top of the championship throughout the whole championship. Anyway, we'll skip through and see what else is going on. I don't know why I'm daydreaming about Robbie so much. Mad Brush Racing going for the move on Ice Chand. These two are both fast, trying to make their way back into the race, really, with, uh, with early incidents dropping them back. But they're certainly capable racers, so they're pushing hard now against each other. So really good action that we've seen so far through this race and uh, credit to every single driver on the grid because it seems like everyone's enjoying themselves driving nice and cleanly and getting those clean overtakes done when uh, when the opportunity arises which is really good to see it's, uh, I'm going to be honest it's what I expect to see these days when you see a grid with uh, people like uh, a grid full of people like this one you expect really good clean racing and um, most importantly we're never disappointed pretty much everyone is capable of keeping it clean and they do so and if there is an incident there's plenty of respect shown and they try and rectify it on track without any apologies needing to happen they just give the place back basically and let the racing continue so we've got the Battle of Street Boy and Chris. Whilst I've been waffling on about the GTTCC, I've actually managed to get past Chris up in second position. And Chris is now getting chased down by Street Boy behind. So good racing going on for third position now. Street Boy in the slipstream, wiggling around a little bit and giving the slipstream away a little bit, but uh, manages to get the pace in the end to try and make a move. And just gets it done nicely on the brakes as uh, Street Boy up into third. So Chris had a really, really good start to this race. Built up a nice gap in second, but at the moment it's just disappearing for him. And he finds himself in fourth. His GT Delhi B far behind. There's only five minutes left in this race now, so GT Delhi B's got his work cut out to try and catch Chris ahead but he'll certainly be trying. We'll quickly skip through the field again, see what else is going on. Robbers still leading away from TC Idol. I'm in a good race, these two. TC Idol trying really hard to uh, keep that pressure on and make the opportunity work. Good racing from TC Idol. Not seen a lot of uh, his racing, although I've seen him enter plenty of races but I've not actually raced against him much myself so good to see some good clean fast driving going on so although we're a bit further down the field now in ninth there's still a healthy battle going on between Mad Brush Racing and Ice Chand in 10th. Angus McCourtup's not too far behind as well. Good racer, Angus McCourtup. In 11th, Surfer EV driving around with these guys as well. Mighty Ginger's a little bit too far back to make anything work in front now, I dare say. Grim in 14th, Dennis in 15th. Bit of a shame for Dennis. I, uh, I enjoyed watching him climb up the field at the start of the race but uh, he finds himself dropping back at some point I'm not quite sure what happened but uh, there we go we're just keeping an eye on Dawson again lap 11 now only a few more laps to go Dawson with the current fastest time on lap 10 of a 203.436 So really quick time there from Dawson. I've already just noticed that Chris's Libra is a Team Dynamics one, that's quite cool. I like uh, Team Dynamics, a touring car, British touring car team. So Street Boy's running out of time here to try and get his foot onto that last step of the podium.
brilliant racing from Chris so far. Really, really consistent race from Chris. Been up there from the start and uh, I've not noticed one issue or one problem from him that's dropped in much time. So really good stuff from Chris so far and good consistent racing. This battle is definitely heating up for third Street Boy's got the chance. He just needs to get that little bit closer to make the dive work on the brakes. Is this it? Into the source for the 12th time. Nope, not this time round. Keep the slipstream down here now. Down the long straight and through a rouge. I'll keep an eye on this till the end of a rouge and uh, we'll see if Street Boy can make it work. That's the problem on this track, when you're in front at this part of the track you are literally a sitting target because of the slipstream. The guy behind has so much more speed compared to you because of the uh, slipstream that he picks up off of the back of your car. Oh, good defensive driving there from Chris. He could have quite easily let Street Boy take that one and uh, thought better of it, but uh, he battled hard for that one and kept his first place for a good move. So we're now into the last minute of this race. This could even be the final lap, I forget from last night how many laps it was in the end. Street Boy down the inside. Whoa. He's putting that pressure on. Come on, Street Boy. I'd like to see either of these two get third, which makes it even better, so. Towards the end of the lap now. Oh, oh, he's close. Oh, Chris going to the outside. No oh, wow, Street Boy just to dive down the inside, but he goes deep on the brakes, and Chris manages to gather it up, gets through the second part of the chicane in front. Oh, good stuff from these two. Great entertainment. And that's it, they're finished. So, um, Ada G finishing in second in the end, Chris in third, brilliant race towards the end there between Street Boy and Chris. Street Boy trying really hard but couldn't quite make it work. GT Deli in fifth, JRC in sixth, TC Idol were a really good finish in the end in seventh, Ice Chand in eighth, and then we've got a big bunch coming through the field! <laughs> we've got a big bunch coming through together, so Surfer EV finishes in 9th, Angus McCourt up in 10th, 11th was uh, Robo Stud <laughs> and Mad Brush Racing, just lost it coming out of the last chicane there so it caused all sorts of incident towards the end of that Grim brings it over the line in 13th Mighty Ginge in 14th, just getting rid of a penalty 15th is MRC Schuert and right at the back we've got MLA 75 can I just say that was absolutely brilliant I might not have caught every single bit of action but the action that I did watch was plenty entertaining enough for me and I really enjoyed that so thank you very much guys brilliant racing and you should be proud of yourselves cheers again Delhi for setting this up and a really good idea for the group twos for a change so we've got one more guy still going VQS Dawson managed to get round uh, in time to actually get yet another lap in so Dawson, the only one that's on the final lap, coming towards the end now, through the last chicane, but really good race from Dawson, credit to him, he has a lot of wins, but uh, that's another one. <laughs> yeah, no, good driving though, from start to finish, he nearly lost first place into T1, but uh, he managed to battle back and uh, kept first position from that point on. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed that, hit that like button. If you feel like subscribing, if you haven't already, feel free and you will be updated with my new videos that come out. And leave a comment if you feel like it. Chuck us a share up as well if, uh, if you feel like other people 
that might not be in involved in our groups might enjoy these kind of races it will always help my youtube so feel free to do that and i will see you again very soon for race two which is another 25 minute race around fuji using the finishing results to give us the reverse grid start anyway thank you very much for watching i will see you again soon take care and adios